When July 4th came, huge celebrations were held in many cities. In New York, a big ship was pulled through the streets in a parade. In Philadelphia, there was a parade made up of 88 groups of marchers, some on floats. New York State soon accepted the new Constitution. A date was set for the first election by the people of a President of the United States. George Washington was everyone's choice. He was elected by unanimous vote. On April 30th, 1789, he took the oath of office, promising to serve his country well. Finally, by May 1790, all 13 states had ratified the Constitution. Now the new nation could truly be called the United States of America. A new Congress was elected, and it immediately went to work. Law courts were set up, and the new government seemed strong and sound. But still, some Americans worried. They believed that certain important rights of the people were not protected under the Constitution. So, to ease these fears, Congress proposed some additions to the Constitution. The first ten additions, or amendments, are known as the Bill of Rights. In part, they state that people have the right to say what they want, go where they want, and pray to God in the way they want, without fear that the government will stop them. The Bill of Rights has turned out to be a very important part of the Constitution. It protects people from losing the freedom that is so much a part of American life. Over the years, 16 other amendments have been added. Our Constitution was written so that, as times change, it can change to meet the needs of our growing country. Today, some 200 years after it was written, the Constitution is still the basis of American government and the American people's way of life. It is the oldest written set of rules for running a country still in use in the world. It created a government that has worked better and longer than any other in history. The Founding Fathers, as the authors of the Constitution are called, wrote the Constitution with the idea that the power of government should come from the people. This idea of each citizen playing a part in government is one of the principles that makes America strong power from the people, protected and guaranteed by the Constitution, has kept a union of states, now grown to 50, together all these years. <laughs>